Yes. It consists of my mum, my dad and my little sister. And we used to go to the city centre once a month during the end of the week. And after all the boring clothes shopping and home essential items, we get some sort of treat where we go to Woolies for sweets like pick a mix or mm. animals for those fancy flavour crisps or <laughs> McKindians. <laughs> you heard me right, McKindians. Basically it was like the halal version of McDonald's. Come on. Oh. Way back in the day. Come on, right. come on. The only place I could go eat. But anyway, somewhere in between I'd be a bit cheeky and be like, Ma, can I buy this toy? She used to look back at that nine-year-old boy and be like, oh my beloved son, I think about it, and I used to get so annoyed. Mm. You see, my sister and I knew mum spoke in code, and every time she said those words, we knew it was just a straight up no. Mm. This is so come up now. I don't just want to go home. Mm. Mm. Until one day, Ma said to me, Ask him, what would you like today? I kind of freaked. I thought this was a dream, but I didn't hesitate. <laughs> I want an older brother. <laughs> smiled at me and goes, ask him, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Like, okay. I clenched him to hope as I can't stay pray. See, I didn't want an older brother. I needed him. Uh. Especially back in my school days because I used to be bullied. Mm. A lot. Mm. Back then it was quite bad. I was a victim of regular physical, verbal and emotional abuse as well as having money stolen on my wallet and items on my back. Mm. I'll just give you one example of hand. At a station compass, stabbed, jabbed into my thighs, puncture marks today. I still remind as I was held by fear, like I was literally gagged. Mm. Contemplating about this during the night is this my position in life? Whilst during the day, I get jeered on my class. The profanity used against me was like a right hook, left uppercut, straight jab. Mm. This time was used like a punch bag coming home with bruise marks about this size. No lie. Long sleeve tops of my fashion statement as I was constantly trying to hide, seeking just for one person to realize how lonely and scared I truly was inside. Mm. Mm. My teachers, they described me as quiet and shy. My friends, I didn't have many at the time. The closest companion I had was a tissue that I held to my face as I constantly cried in my family. I didn't want them to find out. I wore a mask, painted on a smile. Mm. I'm not asking for sympathy. I don't even want you guys to feel sorry for me. I'm just saying that I had some tough times. Mm. That's all until my big brother arrived. See, he was six foot three in height. Strong like an ox, built in size, but it wasn't about his looks. Looking your me, yes. Time flew by, looking me straight in the eyes and goes, ask him, it is time. What's going on here? <laughs> we had something inside and for you today, I'm going to recite. Mm. Bismillah, mm. I start in the name of the Lord. I too have been searching for you, ask him, and yet I find you in such agony, you call it your comfort zone. I'm here to break you out of this prison you've now called home. Come on, mm. come on. First, you must realize the opinion of others is not the reality of your soul. Mm. Within you is a dormant strength, within you must let go. Mm. As you embark with prophetic character, you will find your way home and break the shackles that constantly take hold. Mm. Mm. And you too will inscribe upon many hearts saying, never give up. Mm. There is always hope. Mm. And through such growth, you must you will break through the struggle no matter how far how far it gets you must you must rise from the trouble and no matter what happens understand i am here for you your older brother mm. after that day everything changed nothing was going to be the same i even stood up to the same bullies when he came to that stage and it wasn't even against me against this one kid when he got jumped true story 20 kids against one the beef got called off his boys went home and he got rushed Amongst the chaos and shouting, I heard my big brother's voice saying, Stand up, stand up! Mm. I swallowed my fear, enough was enough. I rolled up my sleeves, I went in a rush, and I got battered. <laughs> <laughs> I literally got battered. I stood up. And the next day, I became the latest goth. Yo, did you hear about that quiet kid? I seen that one in French class. That one's got guts. <laughs> I can't lie, I got guts. <laughs> <laughs> my big brother put a stop to that as he extinguished the fuse before my head blew up. He's like, Yo, little man. <laughs> I know you've done well, but trust me, you're not done. And you know what? He was right. Mm. As I flipped through different chapters of my life, I've had to fight demons residing in my head. At every instance of love that I felt, heartbroken at fake friends, locked up almost close to self. All those times are. Uh, take time, take time, take time. Forgot on myself. Yeah. <laughs> Condemned and all of, and every single time that I cannot recall, comprehend, let alone begin to tell, and yet 
15 years on, he still inspires me daily. Say, no, ask him, you are strong. Not in big muscle, because what's a big bicep compared to a bigger heart? Mm. Mm. He addresses every single situation, episode. Yes, mental health is real, but so is hope. Mm. Mental health is real, and so is hope. Do not fall in love, but rise to it sincerely with your soul. You never lose friends. You understand, you, you, real, you discover who the true ones are. Return back no matter how many times you have broken your vow. Forgive yourself. But learn from the mistakes or the lessons with all of your heart. I am here to remind you you are never alone and tell you who you truly are. And no matter what happens, la taqnatu mi rahmatillah. Never despair in the mercy of your Lord. And I get some next level of peace and calm that can totally a bliss center itself. Okay, I mean, with this poem, you probably get that it's not about me. It's all down to my big brother. And he's the one who's made me. So it's all down to him, as I confess. He's the one who stirred emotions in the heart I never felt. Who caused mm. devotional tears to constantly be shed mm. and dawn a smile that kisses the horizons from end to end. He's not just my big brother, he's like my companion or my friend now. He's like my bad boy to the very end. <laughs> and he's never left my side. He's here today. I won't embarrass you because you guys wouldn't know who he is. Yeah. The pen. God! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.